Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Thursday, August 22nd, 2024. Overnight there in Hawaii at 12.52 a.m. local time, they had a magnitude 4.7 earthquake along the Helena Slump. And yeah, it was definitely movement of the slump. Yeah, you might be prepared. This is very important. Here on uh, USGS uh, Volcanoes, they actually have posted here, most earthquakes in this region are caused by the abrupt motion of the Kilauea Volcano's south flank, which moves to the southeast over the oceanic crust. The location, the depth, and the waveforms recorded as part of today's earthquake are consistent with slip along the fault related to the south flank detachment fault. This is very serious. I'll give you a link to this paper. It's a research paper about um, the slump and what could happen. One of the greatest hazards associated with oceanic volcanoes is not volcanic um, in nature, but lies in the potential for a catastrophe flank failure. Such flank failure can result in devastating tsunami and a threat not only to the immediate vicinity, but coastal cities along the entire, entire rim of the ocean basin. Here's some of the felt reports that were sent in to EMSC. In Volcano, it started with a pretty good jolt and then continued with mild shaking for a while, um, perhaps as long as 10 seconds. A mountain view shook the house in Fern Acres for about 7 to 10 seconds. No damage. Um, shook my whole seat and ceiling fan. That was in Hilo. Um, a nice shake. Uh, felt a large quake here at 12.53 a.m. Started small and accel accelerated for about 10 seconds or more. Very large shake here at 12.53 a.m. Began small and escalated over 10 seconds or more. Lots of rattling of things. This here is a map of the felt reports. Yeah, um, if this slump ever went, it would could be very devastating. The uh, tsunami that would wrap around all the islands, um, yeah, would impact all the coastlines there, um, even in the U.S. and Alaska and yeah, it would be very devastating. Um, those of you that live there and that have followed me for a while would understand this. But here, I believe this is um, a Pahoa. And there were seven reports from there, intensity level three. And then, let's see what we got. Um, intensity level four, farther away, but stronger. Well... Yeah, that's what happens when you live in paradise, right? Yeah, you live with the danger. Captain Cook there. Um, six reports, intensity level two. Yeah. Let's see, intensity level three. We got 63 earthquakes within the last 24 hours. And let's zoom in. Yeah, you can see all of them along here. Along... Um, the slump. Now this one here would be the 4.7. We got a, a 2.2. Fern Forest more recently at 2.0. Two miles in depth. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. We got a 1.7 also for Fern Forest. Um, a 2.2, a 2.6, 2.3. Those were all after the magnitude 4.7. Interestingly, how they were saying that earthquakes had been decreasing <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, um, well, yep, just the calm before the storm, maybe. Back in 2020, there was an earthquake. And also 2018, they actually made the slump move. I don't know if I got the 2020 earthquake on here. I might. I don't see it. 
but yeah the slump actually moved back then yeah um it would just be so devastating for all those people that lived there and then you know around the other islands because of the tsunami that it would create you guys that live there you know of the danger and um yeah it just another day in paradise right you know when they had the uh um, eruption and all the lava flows it would have been a good opportunity to get out of the area but you know families there and you know you got history there so it's 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 really hard to um yeah move to someplace else when you got roots there going back probably several generations earthquakes once again they are increasing around the world yeah are you prepared i hope so please put your comments down below did you have damage from this earthquake or any of the other subsequent earthquakes how did your pets react yeah um did it wake you up were you sleeping how long did it last a lot of people said that it lasted about 10 seconds um, please share that information with those of in our community that um, are part of um, the watch group thank you please like share and subscribe and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye